Hello, Gamer Nom is back, and you are watching a new pro video using the rework Magma Fruit. Where the Echo Slam oh, there it is. forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk! Okay, so I've been reading comments on the comment section on my previous video, and you are requesting the Magma Fruit, so here we go. For the rework Magma Fruit, our first skill is the Magma Clap. This is a new skill, so let's compare it to the previous one. And let's judge if it is a win or a lose. So guys, in terms of damage, they're the same. But in the graphics, it, it, it looks really better. So for me, it's a win. The next skill that we are going to unlock is the FE skill, the Magma Floor at Mastery 10. And for me, this is the best skill of this reworked Magma Fruit. So as you can see, you can use this to lure your enemies as well as damage them. Actually, this is enough to reach level 700. Actually, this skill is really powerful. Check this out. See that? Press F, and that's it. But, but, guys, you cannot use it on water. There you go. I am being damaged. But you can always use a boat, right? So comparing it to the previous one, the Magma Flight, guys, this skill cannot damage the enemy. So for me, I'm going for the Magma Floor. So I tried using the Magma Floor to defeat the Galley Pirates in the Fountain City. And guys, I don't suggest you doing it because it's really hard. I died lots and lots of times until I get used to using the F skill. There you go. <laughs> so Gamer Nob, do you suggest here? Again, no. Just follow the usual path. Head to the jungle. But guys, since we're here, I decided to defeat one Galley Pirate. There you go. I think I got like 10 level ups. And also 30 masteries. Okay. So guys, I decided to go back to the jungle and start defeating the Gorilla King. Just a reminder, all bosses have Haki, so if you use your F skill, he can damage you. So Gamer, no, you're not gonna use the F skill. No guys, we're gonna use it. And I'm gonna prove it to you that the walk strat, yes, we will call it the walk strat. Why walk strat Gamer, no? Since the enemy is walking towards you while getting damage, yeah, we call it the walk strat. There you go, as you can see, it is working. But guys, this strat will really work on mobs. Okay, so as you can see, you're just gonna use it to lure and to damage. As long as this enemy has no hockey, everything will be easy. So at level 35, we are heading to the pirate village and start defeating pirates. Again, at this level, Logia or Elemental is in effect. So guys, it's very easy to defeat them. Also, my technique is defeat one enemy at a time so that there won't be any idle moments here. Just keep on defeating pirates. There you go, as you can see. I'm not waiting for them to spawn. There you go, and that's it. Okay? So at level 45, same strategy. Elemental is in effect with the brutes. There you go. Keep on defeating them. So at level 55, Bobby the Clown or the boss in this island. Again, this boss has hacky, but again with the use of our powerful walk strat. There you go. <laughs> Even if he uses his skill, we won't get damage because we are good at this strat. <laughs> Next step is we're gonna do server hop until you reach level 60 and after that heading towards the next island, the desert. So for our target, desert bandits, we will be unlocking our exit skill, the magma eruption. This is the magma eruption. Guys, there is also DPS on the lava if the enemy is stepping on it. But again, I don't suggest using it. Just focus on the magma floor again guys defeat the enemies one at a time so that you won't need to wait for it to spawn again okay okay check that out boom i respawn get the quest and keep on defeating them okay so 75 desert officer same strategy guys nothing additional here just grind until you reach level 90. stat check here it is block fruit 235 20 melee 15 defense next up the frozen village actually guys nothing new here so same strategy with the snow bandits just use your f is it kind of boring for me it's not because guys imagine grinding and just using one skill <laughs> anyway guys 105 deity and yes we are gonna do our walk strat check this out guys is it working yes additional tip if you want to defeat him faster wait for him to use his skills there you go guys, and after that, that is the cue to use your Z and X skill, okay? Okay, why Gamer Nom? Because even if you use a skill with the knockback, he won't be knocked back because he is using his own skill. 
Again, we're gonna do server hop here until we reach level 130, but in our case, 131. Next island is the Marine Fortress. So our technique here with the Vice Admiral, guys, can you guess? Can you guess, guys? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's really funny, magma floor. There you go. Just keep on doing this. But guys, if you ever try it and you're having a hard time, just practice, okay? Because it's not really easy. As you can see, we've unlocked our Magma Fist, and that's it. Again, there is DPS every time your enemy steps on the lava or magma debris. Okay, next island is the prison at 220. Yes, 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 guys. <laughs> magma floor, magma floor, and magma floor. Guys, you can do this on the warden and the chief warden. But I don't suggest using this on the swan because he has long range attacks. And there is a high chance that you will die, I'm telling you. Check this out, guys. <laughs> so I suggest doing wall strat if you're fighting the swan. Okay? So I decided to leave this area at 350. After that, Magma Village. And our enemy is the Magma Admiral. So this is Magma versus Magma. So can you do the Magma Floor? No, guys. Check this out. I've tried using it. I think the Magma Admiral knows our technique. So he will use his own technique to damage us and even defeat us. No! No! So guys, let's just use our own skills. The Z. Actually, the rework. Guys, notice that this Magma Admiral is not updated yet. <laughs> He's using the previous Magma Fruit V1, right? Anyway, we're gonna leave this area at 425. In our case, 426. Next up is the Underwater City. And as you can see, someone is grinding here. Someone with the Soul Fruit, guys. Uh, we're not gonna attack him. Wait, what's that? Oh, Awakened Magma Fruit user. Ah, oh. oh, we got oof. Guys, technique here, just focus on the mob. He cannot damage you now. See that? This dude is a flexor. He's in the first sea but has Awakened Fruit. Anyway, if this happens to you, just focus on the Fishman Lord. And if you deal substantial damage, you will also get experience. See that? Anyway guys, we've unlocked our V-Scale. There you go, it really looks good. The damage is really high to be honest. So guys, I don't suggest you using the Magma Floor strat here. Just, there you go, do the wall strat. Use your V, Z, X skill, and even C skill. Okay? So again, wall strat until you reach level 500. Again, best strategy is server up. Next island is the Skylands. And here our target is the Whisper. So guys, you cannot use this strategy. Because he has long range attack. There you go, the bazooka. <laughs> and if this hits you, we are dead. So we are going back to our previous strategy, the stone strat. So just stand here, use your skills. Yeah, he will be using his bazooka, but he won't be able to hit you. So it's a free hit in short. So again, server hop until you reach level 537, just to be sure. Yes, 537. And after that, final island, Fountain City, and the target is the Galley Pirate. So guys, again, Elemental is in effect, so just use your V and C skill. There you go, you can burst them with just two skills. Guys, there you go, you can reach level 700 here if you want, or you can defeat the Cyborg if you want, but this is harder, so just stay with the Galley Pirates, okay? So guys, I've been reading comments, so just, just suggest. If you want me to grind another rework fruit, just comment it in the comment section. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.